Today, we're gonna to be working on the 8-2 lesson quiz, quadratic functions in vertex form. As a reminder, vertex form is written on the board for you. It's f of x equals a in parentheses, x minus h squared plus k. Vertex form gives us the vertex of our equation, which is hk, and it can also tell us how it translates from the parent function to our new function. So it will tell us if it moves up or down, left or right, if there's stretches or compressions. So let's take a look at number one. It says, which of the following functions translates the graph of the parent function f of x equals x squared plus two vertically up six units? Looking at our function in vertex form, we know that it's the k that determines whether it moves up or down. So looking at our parent function, they gave us f of x equals x squared plus two. So as of right now, we already know that our function is moving up two because it tells us that's the k. So plus two means up two. Since they want us to move up another six units, we're gonna add six to the number two, which gives us a new function of f of x equals x squared plus eight. So the correct answer for number one would be letter A. Let's look at number two. In number two, it says which of the following functions translates the graph of the parent function f of x equals x squared minus three horizontally left eight units. Well, originally we're starting with f of x equals x squared minus three. When we're talking about left or right, we're talking about what's inside the parentheses with x. So f of x equals, we're gonna need to put x plus or minus a number in parentheses squared minus three, because it's the H that represents left or right. Because they want us to move left eight units, we're gonna add eight to our X. Remember, it's always gonna be the opposite of what you think. Normally when you move left, you think that you're getting smaller, so you wanna subtract. But when it comes to vertex form, we're actually doing the opposite. So we're gonna be adding eight instead. The reason for this is the formula is always X minus H. And so if we were to plug that in, X minus, and we put in a negative eight, it actually becomes positive eight, which is why inside the parentheses, we want it to be a plus eight. The correct answer for this one would be letter D. Let's look at number three now. In number three, it says select all the functions that have a graph with a vertex and the axis of symmetry to the left of the vertex and axis of symmetry of the graph of f of x equals x minus one squared plus one. Well, let's start by determining our example equation, and we're going to look at the vertex and the axis of symmetry. So f of x equals x minus one squared plus one. We know our vertex is going to equal one, one. It's always the opposite of what's inside the parentheses and exactly what's written on the outside. So our vertex is one, one. And we know that our axis of symmetry is always going to be the same as the x value of our vertex, which is x equals one. We're now looking for graphs that have a vertex and axis of symmetry to the left meaning that we're gonna need numbers that are less than positive one. Well, looking at our letter A, letter A has a vertex of positive one, negative one, and an axis of symmetry of X equals one. Are these to the left of our original vertex and axis of symmetry? No, they're exactly the same. So letter A is not gonna work. Looking at letter B, let's identify this vertex. That's gonna be the opposite of what's inside the parentheses, which is negative one, and exactly what's on the outside, which is negative two. And our axis of symmetry is X equals negative one. If you were to graph this, it would be to the left of our original vertex of one, one, and our axis of symmetry of one. So letter B is correct. We're gonna continue going though, because we can have more than one answer. In letter C, we're gonna take the opposite of what's inside our parentheses, positive one, and exactly what's on the outside, leaving us with an axis of symmetry of one. This is exactly the same as what we started with. So this wouldn't be to the left. Answer C is not a good answer. 
Letter D says g of x equals negative x minus two squared plus one. We're gonna take the opposite of what's inside the parentheses, which is two, and exactly what's outside the parentheses. So our axis of symmetry is two. This would be to the right of our original vertex, not to the left. So that doesn't work either. Let's look at letter E. Looking at this function, I can see that the vertex is gonna be the opposite of what we see inside, which is negative two and then exactly what's on the outside, which is positive two, and our axis of symmetry is negative two. This tells me, yes, it is to the left of my original vertex. That is in fact an answer. And then number um, letter F says the vertex is gonna be the opposite of what's inside the parentheses, which is negative one, and exactly what's outside the parentheses, which is two. And our x axis is x equals negative one. So this does in fact work as well. For letter three, our answers would be B, E, and F. In number four, it asks us to graph this function and identify the vertex and axis of symmetry. So when I look at this problem, I'm gonna go ahead and look at my vertex first and my axis of symmetry. My axis of symmetry and vertex are given to me. So my vertex is going to be the opposite of what's inside the parentheses and exactly what's on the outside. So negative one, positive two. I also know that my axis of symmetry is gonna be X equals negative one. So that's that imaginary line that goes right down through my vertex and it cuts my parabola in half. So whatever I see on the right side, I'm gonna see on the left side. Also, because I have a negative out front, I know my parabola is gonna open down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up with some values for my parabola. So I have an X value of negative one and two. I'm gonna come up with two values that are less than negative one, which is negative two and negative three, and two values that are higher than negative one, zero and one. I'm gonna go back to my equation and I'm gonna plug in one at a time my zero and one. So I've got negative in parentheses, zero plus one is, is um, and then squared plus two. So zero plus one is one squared, and then negative one plus two would be positive one. So when I come over here, I'm gonna put in zero, one. I also know that's gonna be the value for negative two because it's gonna be the exact same on the opposite side. Now I'm gonna plug in positive one, so I'm gonna go negative in parentheses, one plus one squared plus two. One plus one is two, two squared is four. And then I have negative four plus two, which is negative two. So my other values are gonna be negative two for both of these. When I go back over to graph, I'm gonna have zero, one. So zero, one, and then one, negative two and it's gonna be the exact same on the other side, negative two, one, and then negative three, negative two. Whenever you want to draw a parabola, you wanna make sure you have a U-shaped graph connecting your points and also putting arrows at the end. So this would be the graph, and I also have our vertex and axis of symmetry right here. We've got one problem left. The graph of a function g is a parabola with a vertex located at five comma nine. The parabola also passes through the point three comma one. Write an equation in vertex form for the function. So I know that my equation is gonna be in vertex form, which is f of x equals a in parentheses x minus h squared plus k. I'm gonna start by plugging in my vertex. So f of x stays the same. We don't know what our A is, but in the parentheses, it'll be X and then my H is five, so minus five squared, and my K is a positive nine. I'm not sure what that A is out front, so I'm not done writing my equation yet. Instead, what I'm gonna do is put the other point, which is three, one, into my equation. So for F of X, which is the same as Y, I'm gonna put in one. The A will stay, but now for X, I'm gonna put three minus five squared plus nine. The reason this is helpful is it leaves my letter A so I can solve for that. One equals A in parentheses, three minus five is negative two squared plus nine. 
negative two squared is four. So now I have one equals four a plus nine. I'm gonna subtract nine from both sides and I get negative eight equals four a. So a equals negative two. In order to write my final equation, I'm gonna bring this a all the way back up to the top. And my final equation will still say f of x. I'm gonna plug in negative two for my a. And then the only other thing I'm gonna plug in is my hk. So x minus five squared plus nine. And this would be your final answer as an equation in vertex form. Hope that helps.